Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today on the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, I would like to discuss some of my settings that I'm using for the HP Reverb G2. The settings that we're going to be going over today are going to help you get the very best picture quality out of your G2 headset. So if you'd like to know more about that, then stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. All right, welcome back everyone. So let's hop right into this. Now, I just wanna stress that the video that we're gonna be going over today is going to improve not the graphic settings as far as smoothness of how the sim runs, but the actual picture quality that you get out of the G2 headset. So now that you know that going in, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe, tick the little bell and smash that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. So the first thing that we wanna do is to go over to your community shortcut on your desktop. Now, if you do not have a community shortcut folder on your desktop, it is a really wise thing to do. It allows you to put things in the community folder a lot quicker than trying to find it. If you are unsure of where your community folder is, if you are on the PC version, I will post the link down here on the right. If you're on the Steam version, I will post the link down here on the left. Now, if you did a custom install, of course, it's not gonna be in either of these two locations. Only you would know that. So now that we got that out of the way and you know where your community folder is, we wanna go ahead and open the shortcut on our desktop. Once we open the shortcut on the desktop, we're just gonna look at the address bar at the top and we're going to click on the local cache. When we click on the local cache, we're gonna go down to the user config we're gonna highlight it with the left mouse button. Then we're gonna click on the right mouse button and then we're gonna open it either with Notepad or any other software that you choose. I'm using Notepad++. So we're just gonna left click on that and it will open up all of our config settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So for those of you who have not used this in the past, it's pretty easy to adjust these settings. Most of these are either gonna be a one or a zero. Some of them can vary, but most of these settings are gonna be adjusted inside the sim. There's only a couple that are not, and that's what we're gonna be focusing on here today. So there's two sections of the config file. We have the PC version or monitor, and then below that we have the VR settings. So that's where we're gonna be focusing on today is the VR. So you wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom of this, and we're gonna go down to the post process area of the VR settings. Now, most likely you're gonna have a bunch of these with a one next to them. And I suggest that you turn all of your post-processing off. Now, for one reason, it will improve a little bit of performance because the SIM is no longer gonna to have to add any post-processing into the image for us. Two, it's gonna take out a lot of the oversaturation that the color grading adds, as well as some weird issues that you may have with the eye adaptation. So after you have switched these to zero, then you wanna come up here to the file, go down and click on the save. Now mine's not highlighted because I haven't made any changes. Yours should be, click the save button and you should be good to go. At that point, you can close out of that application and we are set with the user config file. Okay, so now we can get rid of that and we can get rid of the shortcut that we have on our desktop. So the next piece of software that we're gonna need for this is the OpenXR Toolkit. If you don't have the OpenXR Toolkit and you're using VR, where have you been for the past couple of months? So make sure you go down below in the description and grab the link, go over there and download the OpenXR Toolkit. I'll also post a link down below that we've done on a tutorial of the OpenXR Toolkit. There is gonna be a future tutorial coming out for the latest release. And I know the one that we have posted below is a little outdated but at least it'll get you started. In any case, you wanna make sure you have the OpenXR Toolkit before we move any further. So once you've got that installed, we wanna go ahead and open up the simulator and spawn into your game. Once you spawn into the game, we're gonna activate the OpenXR Toolkit by hitting the Control and F2 keys at the same time. That will open up our menu for us. Now at the top of the menu, it's gonna have several different menu options that you can choose from. You wanna scroll left and right using the Control and F3 key, and you wanna move over to the appearance portion. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I can tell you that the brightness level in the G2 is pretty good. Actually, it's probably a little bit too good. So what we wanna do is go down to the brightness, and I found that anywhere between 40 and 45 
is a good brightness level. So once we get the brightness down in the picture, it really helps on your eyes as well. You go down to the contrast and we're gonna up the contrast a little bit to about 50.4 and you can play around with this. You can go up to 50.5, you can go down to 50.3. What this is gonna do is add a little bit of contrast to the cockpit. It will really enhance the darks and the blacks inside the cockpit. And that's gonna be really important because as anyone knows in these headsets, once you get in a dark environment or a dark area, it kind of looks a little grayish and it's not black anymore. The next thing that you wanna do is to go down to the saturation level. This is why I wanted to turn off the color grading inside of the config file for Microsoft Flight Simulator because that oversaturates everything. Now we're able to customize the saturation of all the colors inside of Microsoft Flight Sim. I am going with a saturation level adjustment of 52. Again, you can play around with this, but that is really going to help with the colors that you're gonna see in your headset. So once we get all that done, uh, that is pretty much all that there is to it to make sure that you're gonna have the very best visual quality out of that G2 headset. In a future video, we're gonna go over some settings with the NVIDIA control panel, as well as some of the other settings in the OpenXR toolkit. So stay tuned for those videos coming out. Thanks everybody for joining us today on the channel. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave those down below in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see everyone on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.